Yo, this is your boy Mac again. Uh, something else dropped in my spirit that I just really wanted to that I wanted to focus on for a second because I was thinking about the um, tribes of Israel and one tribe in particular that I was thinking about. I was thinking about the tribe of Judah, and the tribe of Judah is said to be the tribe of praise. Now. You know, I don't want to get into a whole debate about the Israelite and, and all of the genealogy and stuff like that. But I will say this, that uh, there's no other music genre that has influenced the world like the hip hop genre has. And that is a direct testament, in my opinion, to the praise of Judah. Because Judah was always the tribe of praise. Now, um, so how then can you destroy the praise of Judah? Well, you have to poison it. You have to poison the praisers. Because that's where the power lies. The anointing lies in the praiser himself. So if you are destroying the praisers, then you will destroy the praise of Judah. And that's something kind of heavy right there. So now I take that that concept and I attribute it to the whole hip hop industry right now. Hip hop is worldwide. Hip hop is a global thing. Um, it's making a lot of young black men uh, financially independent. It's bringing a whole lot of families out of certain situations and bad situations and so forth. It's causing these men to uh, create economic growth and revenue and to, uh, to, to build companies and things of that nature. So Judah's praise is, is paying off in these days and times through what we call the gangster rap music because the praise has been taken and it's been, you know, they say that the gift is given without repentance, which means that God is going to bless you with that gift. And whether you use it for good or bad, that's up to you. But you have to deal with the consequences afterwards or the benefits of doing the right thing with it. So with that being said, the gift of praise that we have within us that is being used and uh, influenced by these record labels to destroy us. That's a, a very brilliant plan I would have to give them credit for because that's the only way uh, throughout history that you have ever been able to destroy Israel is to get them to destroy themselves. And so now you're going to take Judah and use Judah's praise and their ability to connect with the most high through their praise and you're going to use that to get them to destroy themselves i want to get y'all to see these things that um in the spiritual aspect because if you don't look in the spiritual aspect and you're trying to figure this thing out through the carnal aspect you're never gonna get it you'll never be able to figure out what's taking place right now if you're not paying attention to the spiritual aspect of it Y'all, this is your boy Mac. I'm right here in Colleen, Texas. Y'all, shout out to everybody. Much love. Say loud. Peace.